Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today, we're diving into a common challenge faced by many Android developers. Our viewer is struggling with a broadcast receiver that isn't firing when an SMS is received. Let's explore this issue together. Here's a quick overview of the problem. Our viewer has set up a broadcast receiver to catch SMS content in their app, but despite having the necessary permissions and manifest entries, the receiver doesn't seem to trigger when an SMS arrives. This can be frustrating, especially after checking multiple resources for guidance. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, we're gonna to be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy like me, and hopefully you find that resolution. Now, let's continue on to the video. Let's start by checking your Android manifest.xml file. Ensure that you have the correct permissions and that your broadcast receiver is properly declared. Next, verify that your SMS receiver class is correctly implemented. It should extend broadcast receiver and override the on receive method. If your receiver is still not firing, check if your app is set as the default SMS app. Starting from Android 4.4, only the default SMS app can receive SMS messages. Lastly, if you are dynamically registering the receiver in your activity, ensure that you are doing it in the onCreate method and that the intent filter is correctly set. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To fix issues with the Android SMS broadcast receiver, start by using the SMS Retriever API for automatic SMS verification. This allows your app to wait for a specific SMS message. Call Start SMS Retriever to begin the process and set up success and failure listeners to handle the results. When the SMS is received, your app will get a broadcast with the SMS content. Use a broadcast receiver to handle this. Make sure to register your broadcast receiver in the Android Manifest.xml and in your activities on create method. For more detailed guidance, check out the automatic SMS verification documentation. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To fix the Android SMS broadcast receiver issue, make sure your code includes SMS deliver action. Many examples on GitHub miss this crucial part. Next, set your default messaging app. Go to Settings, then Apps, Notifications, Default Apps, and select Messaging App. For more detailed guidance, check out these resources linked in the description. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer.
To fix the issue with the Android SMS broadcast receiver not working, make sure to request runtime permission to receive SMS messages, especially if you're using Android 6.0 or higher. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To fix the Android SMS broadcast receiver issue, first set another app as your default SMS app. Then in Google Hangouts, go to Settings and disable Merged Conversations in SMS. Additionally, ensure your manifest file is correctly set up Include the SMS broadcast receiver with the right permissions and intent filters. I hope that video helped get through to the resolution that you're looking for. If it did, please hit subscribe. I really appreciate it. And until next time, I hope you have a great one. Cheers.